Hello, my name is Jeff Smith, and I'm here to announce an exciting new feature in our Oracle Database Cloud, and that is SQL Developer Web. What is SQL Developer? Well, it's a free desktop application. It's uh, built with Java. It offers the PLSQL uh, development interface, a query worksheet. It's our graphical user interface for the database. It includes features for the DBA. We even have a command line interface for it. And it enjoys more than 5 million users around the world. It was introduced in 2005. We offer frequent updates, as many as one to two a year. However, in the past year, we've uh, switched to quarterly releases. And now in the current edition of our Oracle Public Cloud database service, your console includes SQL Developer Web. And that's what I'm here to introduce today. It's powered by Oracle REST Data Services. There's nothing for the user to install. It runs right in your browser. Very feature rich. It'll be very comfortable for anyone that's used SQL Developer before. And if you've never used SQL Developer before, the interface will be pretty familiar to anyone that's worked with a, a database. You'll have a worksheet where you can run your SQL, your PL SQL, even some basic SQL plus scripts. We'll have some wizards available to um, work with your database objects. You'll be able to diagram your existing uh, schema into some nice relational diagrams. We'll have an interface for Oracle's real-time SQL monitoring feature. And we'll have some database administration uh, pages for viewing your alert logs, managing storage, seeing what's happening in the database, like backups, and that sort of thing. The worksheet is where most users will spend most of their time, and like I said, it's feature rich. So you're going to be able to uh, run your code, uh, interact with the output. Everyone loves exporting their data out to those uh, consumer friendly formats like CSV, uh, XML, JSON, HTML, insert statements. So that's there on day one. Uh, if you're having problems with executing uh, your queries in terms of performance, uh, explain plan and auto trace is built in. We're able to capture DBMS output. Our probably most popular desktop feature is the SQL history recall. That's built in. It's saved into your, uh, your browser. So as you're executing sessions across days or weeks or months, even if you're on the same machine in the same browser, you're going to be able to access your SQL history. Code Insight is there for getting help writing your statements. Uh, if you're making typos or you can't quite remember um, the syntax required for a statement, the parser is there to give you indicators and to help you out. You'll be able to make your code look pretty, and you'll be able to drag and drop from the browser where we show you your objects to help generate your insert statements or your select statements with joins or your updates and deletes. Got a couple screenshots here just to give you an idea of what it looks like. So the, the worksheet interface is very similar to what you see in the desktop tool. Uh, the toolbar has pretty much the same buttons. We even have the same keyboard shortcuts. And then the output panels on the bottom are uh, very similar as well. The main difference between the desktop and the browser version is going to be the object navigator. So instead of a tree, you have a schema selector drop down control, and you also have the same for the schema type. And we also have a nice search interface built in to help you find your objects. Here's an example of what auto trace output looks like. Here you can see the uh, SQL history. We track all the things that you would expect, the statement, the script, the last time you executed, how many times you've executed it. We have uh, the dialogues here to help you um, generate anonymous blocks to execute your store procedures and functions. And we have very nice uh, date pickers and other uh, helpers to work with the various data types. So what I'd like to do now, instead of showing you screenshots, is do a very quick demo. This is about three, three and a half minutes, and this is just of the worksheet itself. You can expect many more video demos to show off the other features um, coming soon. So I can write my select, my updates, and basically any valid SQL. And the keyboard shortcuts are the same, so Control Spacebar gives me the code helpers. 
and again, uh, Control Enter uh, is going to execute this code. Uh, Control F7 will format it. So this is a single statement. It's going to get the results down into a data grid. I can right click and say, hey, let's go export that. Again, all of the common data formats are there. Excel's not there on day one, but we are working on that. It'll be available soon. Uh-oh, Jeff made a typo, but that's okay. Our parser's going to catch it. Expected from got form, and if you put a mouse over the selected text, you'll see the same thing. I'm going to drag and drop a table into the worksheet. Help me with the select. So instead of a splat or the star, it's the fully qualified column list. So instead of executing this as a statement, I'm going to execute as a script. And uh, out of the box, nicely formatted script output, not what you would see in SQL Plus, for example. Now you're going to watch me code. And uh, by code, I mean hack. So we're going to write a very basic anonymous block just to show you that this works, and it'll also demonstrate um, our DBMS output support. So I'm just querying uh, a number of objects into a variable called x, and I'm going to write some DBMS output code to display that to the screen as I'm debugging or as I'm instrumenting my code. Now you'll know I'm not adding a set server output on. Uh, we do that for you automatically in your session. So every time you execute something, we're toggling server output on. I could hit F5 here, but I'm just going to hit the, the button. And there I have my DBMS output there in the script output panel itself. Uh, I could toggle to the DBMS output panel and see just that. So I'm going to fix my typo and run this again. There, cleaner. But I can iterate through whatever I am previously. So exact same keyboard shortcut as in the desktop to go through your SQL history. Or I can click on the SQL history panel and see the full list. Again, this is saved between sessions. Now if I switch over to a different browser, I'll go into a different machine, uh, the SQL history won't be there. It's tied to your, uh, your browser. Here's um, our auto trace feature. So we run that query, we get the stats. And there's a lot of stats to show. I mean, we basically see what your session stats are before and after running the query to see the amount of work that's been done. Help is built in. So we have quick help. And here where you see the little question mark you can click on. And we have docs there, um, the links to Oracle Docs. And the documentation team has done an excellent job um, work building this out so you can hit the ground running. So that's the demo of just the worksheet. We have lots more built into this on day one. So uh, it's called Data Modeler, but really you're not building um, uh, a database design where what we're doing is for an existing database, letting you very easily reverse engineer that schema into useful uh, data dictionary reports and relational diagrams you can share with others. So when you switch over to the data modeler, uh, you can drag one or more objects into the panel, drag them around, uh, change their visualization, their color styles, you can insert notes, um, you can do lots of interesting things. While you're in there, you can see the properties for those objects. Uh, if I select one or more of objects in here, I can generate the DDL to see what's behind um, these objects, and I can export this off to uh, SVG so you can embed it into your own doc sets. We also have a real-time SQL monitoring interface um, built into the tool. No flash. This has all been redone into uh, HTML5. So same information you would see in Enterprise Manager, same information you'd see in SQL Developer Desktop. So here's a list of available reports. Uh, if I did have a query that was actively running, uh, this would be real-time live refresh. If I open a report, I get the nicely formatted uh, query text, uh, the top level information on the query. I can drill down into the uh, the plan and the plan stats. And I also have access to the um, parallel process information, so the breakdowns on uh, weight events per each parallel set and each parallel server process. 
database administration features are here as well on day one. So uh, I can get a nice uh, overview of my instance. I can come in here and look at um, wait events on a session, zoom in on a specific point in time. Um, we've based the color code wait events to match what you would see in Enterprise Manager. And then um, below you'll see the SQL statements and um, database workloads that were running during that particular time period. So you can see what was causing, in this case, the, uh, the concurrency wait spike. So much more to talk about. We also have a lot more features coming your way very soon. Uh, this is what we're working on in uh, future iterations. Uh, this is a cloud first feature, but it will not be a cloud only feature. So again, stay, st uh, so again, stay tuned for some exciting announcements uh, when you might be able to find this for your local Oracle database. We're very excited. Um, if you're an Oracle database, uh, cloud customer, um, this should be available in your service today or very soon. Uh, look for the um, the patch. It was rolling out over the weekend um, for our database DBCS customers. And we'll be also rolling this out to additional database cloud um, environments as well. Thank you very much. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day.